Hey everybody, this is Kyle with Bricto Security, and today we're going to be working on Half the Box starting point series with the Fawn Box. Let's get started. So I've already got our machine up and running, so I'm going to go ahead and grab our IP here. I'm going to get Kali started, and we're just going to do a simple sudo nmap, control shift V to put in our IP. We're going to do dash SV. This is going to look at the services uh, that Nmap can view and get us a version that it detects, as well as a dash capital O to do our OS detection. I'm going to give this a second to run. Okay, and now that we see that Nmap is finished, we can see all the ports that are open. It looks like we have port 21 open. That is our FTP service, and it has a specific version number that we can see here. Um, it's given us kind of a fingerprint to look over and our OS version that it detects is actually Unix. So now that we know what uh, port we're going to kind of be looking over, let's go back into Hack the Box here and see what kind of general things we're looking to do. What does the three letter acronym FTP stand for? Well, FTP actually stands for File Transfer Protocol. So FTP uses the client server model and it provides direct file transfer from an user and a web server. Uh, this uses two different network communications and actually is unencrypted. Uh, what port does FTP actually listen on? This will be on port 21. And we can take a look at that here. When we have our Nmap search here, we can see that we are within port 21. What acronym is used for the secure version of FTP? FTP. This would be SFTP. And all that stands for is Secure File Transfer Protocol. The difference between FTP and SFTP is that SFTP utilizes the SSH, which is our secure shell, in order to provide uh, encrypted traffic communication between these two services. And so what is the command we can use to send ICMP echo request to test our connection to the target? This is gonna be just your basic ping. So if we ping and we look at our IP address that we have just sent, we can see that we have sent uh, the specific IP address and ICMP is our internet control message protocol, a network layer protocol that is used to communicate between a web server and a user. So going back into hack the box, this is going to be our ping command. From your scans, what version of FTP is running on the target? If we go back and we take a look here, we can see that uh, specific version is here. Control Shift C. And from your scans, what OS type is running on the target? If we remember from looking at our dash O command, we can see that the service info OS is Unix. What is the command we need to run in order to display the FTP client help menu? So if we go back into our Kali, we can type FTP-H. Dash H is just going to be your general help command that you can use for most of your applications. And we can see with FTP, we have different outputs. We can specify our port. A lot of times uh, when you're looking to FTP into a service, you can have a directed user. So we can do something like FTP direct the username at, and then put it in our IP address, and it'll actually submit for that password. We can further refine this if we can admin, and then do something like a password, and then try to connect directly into FTP that way. We're not gonna go ahead and do that. We are going to directly try to FTP into our service. We are trying to connect into our service. We get a 220 message and we have our specific version that we have uh, already directed here. I was trying to ask for a name here. Our name is just going to be our username login that we are looking to actually address into our FTP. So this is something where we're going to actually try to hack. We can try something like admin admin. Remember typing into the password field is not gonna show any typing directly. We can see that we get a login failed. So let's go ahead and exit press up and we can try FTP again. Uh, we can do something like uh, admin administrator password. 
Again, we're getting a login failed. This time, I want to show the unencrypted traffic that we are actually looking with. So if we open up something like Wireshark where we can see our encrypted traffic, we're specifying all information through our tunnel. So now we have Wireshark looking for everything that we are specifying within our tunnel directly back into Hack the Box. So we're going to FTP back into our traffic here. I'm going to type in something like hello there. Going back into Wireshark here, we can see our different protocols that we're uh, addressing. And so if I click on something like FTP, you can right click this, go down to follow and TCP stream. We can see all of our traffic communication that is going on between the server that we're trying to FTP into and back. And so we see that we entered our username as hello and our password as there. If you have somebody that's sitting as a man in the middle, following whatever is going on with traffic for FTP stream, they will have unencrypted answers directly into their box. That's obviously not a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and close Wireshark here, type exit, as we're still having failed logins. So let's try to go back into our FTP service. A name, let's try something like anonymous. Password, typically with FTP, you may not actually need a password. So I'm gonna have a specified username as anonymous. Enter again, and we have a login successful here. You can see 230 as our successful login for a remote system type is Unix. We go back in here, uh, our answer for uh, our help command was FTP-H. And what is the username that is used over FTP when you want to log in without having an actual account? We address this as anonymous. What is the response code we get for the FTP message as login successful? Going back, we can review. We can see that the successful login is 230. So 230. There are a couple of commands we can use to list the files and directories available on the FTP server. One is dir. What is the other that is a common way to list files on a Linux system? If you recall, ls. Go back here, answer this real quickly. All right, now that we are actually within our uh, FTP, we are trying to look to see what kind of uh, files are available. We can see that we have read access to our flag.txt. What is the command used to download the file we found on the FTP server? Well, if we want to figure out what kind of commands we can run on FTP, if we type help, we can see all the different options that we have, uh, such as making a directory, we can open things, we can uh, see our file path. The way that we are actually able to transfer our files using FTP is the git command. So I'm gonna type git flag dot txt and we can see that we have opened our data connection here and we have a full transfer of data into here so now if i go into another system now we're back on our local box here if i type ls we see that we have our flag.txt cat flag.txt now we have our answer so going back into here what is the command you use to download the file that we get for FTP is git. And we have to submit our root flag here, going back in, going to copy and paste. And there we have successfully pwned our box. Congratulations on hacking the fawn box. I'll see you on the next one.